Business Report, live at the NASDAQ, is brought to you by Rejoice Financial. 723, it is time to talk to Jane King about our top business headlines. We've been talking about the new tariffs on Chinese goods this morning, but how could they affect Indiana? Good morning, Jane. Good morning to you, Scott and Kylie. Well, about a billion dollars worth of exports from Indiana would be impacted by a trade war. That's according to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. It says it's mainly boats and steel products that are made in the state that would be hurt the most. Now, meanwhile, as you've mentioned, tariffs on $34 billion worth of Chinese goods went to effect at midnight. It's the first tangible move in the trade battle with China. Subaru of Lafayette just finished its best first half of a year ever. The company said sales in June were higher than a year ago. That does continue as seven. 79-month streak of higher sales. The Ascent, Forrester, Impreza, WRX, Legacy Outback, BRZ, and the Crosstrek all built at Subaru and Lafayette. Well, President Trump wants OPEC to halt crude oil's upward climb. Oil prices did fall yesterday on higher than expected stockpiles, but they've climbed to four-year highs in recent weeks. Now, OPEC does have some sway in oil prices by manipulating production, but there are other factors involved in the price of oil as well. And MoviePass has rolled out surge pricing so that means your ticket to see the hot movie, maybe Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, could cost more this weekend. The surcharge starts at $2, and it varies based on what users want to see and when, and uh, that will go into effect when there's high demand for a title or a showtime. Stocks jumped ahead of the tariffs today on China. Tech stocks were the big winners. The Nasdaq led the gains yesterday. Now, we do get the monthly jobs numbers. As if uh, today isn't busy enough, we get those numbers out in about an hour. We expect about 200,000 jobs added in the U.S last month. Live from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Scott and Kylie. We are firmly in amusement park season. Snapchat has something <laughs> yes. new for folks going out. This is augmented reality. So this summer, Snapchatters can add an augmented reality layer to their theme park vacation. Snapchat mm. has developed a lens on the app on your phone for Disney, Universal, and Six Flags parks, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, they say the experiences allow users to connect with some of their favorite characters in a totally new way. I don't understand it at all, but I'll try it. Why I, not? I, I'm, I'm thinking they need Our new signs saying, watch out for flying yeah. iPhones or whatever. Yeah. You know, people are dropping them from the ride. Are they using them on the ride? Oh, gosh. That would be bad. Uh, yeah, no, That's I don't think so. Like. Like, for, from some of the, yeah, and some of the video, too, like you could get your picture taken with Mickey Mouse. Like they would just use an augmented reality Mickey Mouse there. And just drop it so you be with. don't Almost have to like wait in the line. Filter. Okay. Right, exactly. Okay. I still okay. don't understand. Thank you, Jane. Okay. <laughs> 726 right now.